I feel like there is no reason for me to rush and there is no reason for me to be efficient and effective I can just do things more softly, smoothly and at a totally different pace Are you a holiday, Kathy? Are you in your summer holiday? I feel like some of you in the recent past worked very hard um, to stop thinking about the past. Maybe the way I felt was like you didn't have the energy, but it gave you more stability. It gave you more equilibrium to do that, keeping your thoughts away from the past. Uh, some of you could have turned, I don't know why, I feel like I'm connecting for really really long time with a cappy artist even now i feel like you transformed your past into your art my friend send me an email i no confidentiality don't worry about it but i do feel like you transformed your past into uh, your art and that's either selling very well but it also put you in a very stable comfortable position you got stronger uh, because you got to transmute that past into into something really good it kept your mind away from the past i don't know how good is that but maybe that's your way of dealing with it you know I, people have different way of ways of dealing with stuff and not everything that works for me can work for anybody and vice versa so if this works for you with the strength here it looks like it did very well do that then some of you also wanted to say that some of you worked your way uh, into maybe you work hard so that you can have a longer holiday so i do see you finding absolute balance and starting fresh maybe somewhere else maybe some of you work hard to relocate i do see that for some of you i also feel like if you if you didn't want to continue some relationships you didn't argue you just ended you made it clear like you didn't go instead but uh, you know because sometimes relationships just fade that's one way relationships end others it's argument and other times like you just talk to the person and say hey i like it but i feel like we grew in different ways and i don't feel like um we connect the way we used to do and maybe that's absolutely natural and organic and we should embrace it and i wish you nothing but the best and i feel like some of you did this in the past and started either to meet new people or started fresh somewhere else but that was a very grounded decision that was made If you will not stay focused on the price or on your goal, um, things are taking turns that, or took turns, if you weren't you know, focused, if for a split of a second you lost focus, I think like things took a turn that um, it was for the best for you because they took you out of, you know, stagnation maybe we are focusing on something for way too long uh i do see you enjoying very much connecting with people from 
uh, foreign land and connecting with people from different places i do see that it's interesting how i see this too and you in the middle maybe you were in the center of attention and maybe you um surrounded yourself with people that are very positive and that you have something to learn from them i see that you surrounded with people that you know they challenged you but in a positive way to grow and this is when i felt like i lost a bit of focus and things took a turn i feel like they took a turn for the best because it could be a situation where you didn't feel like you have the right uh, tools or you didn't feel confident enough to take the next actions and maybe you were a bit you know doing things like I felt at the beginning slow and that slowness wasn't necessary and then you know you you lost focus for a second and boom look what happened the wheel of fortune in the tower with the 12 cups at the bottom of the deck so I think like things to, took a turn for the best oh my god trust me I don't speak as fast as my thoughts I don't have time to speak as fast as I, I as I think right now, but nevertheless, it was good in the past. You focusing on you know um, channeling your energy into creation. I would be sarcastic because I'm still dealing with a lot of stuff that I dealt in the past, but um, it's cult related, spirituality related. So that's why I'm a bit um, sarcastic. But I do see working very well for you. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Let's see what's up with you in the current, Happy. Happy in the current. Happy in the current. And you're changing your belief as well in the current, Happy. Well, I'll tell you something. If you let it be in God's hands, it's not going to work. I don't know what is this for you, but if you gave it, to God to deal with it or you gave it to someone higher and powerful and stronger and all that may be a reason why I'm mentioning cards right now I haven't mentioned them in quite some time you gave your power away don't give it to God it's not the time to give it to God either it's a time for you to take charge and deal with it uh, Emperor and Queen of Pentacles in reverse that's not good for you to give it to God right now or to someone else don't give your power to someone else please don't it will take you out of the balance it will take away everything you worked for and it will put you in a place where i don't even want to think you will start from zero i start from zero like zero zero in my account zero where i am i had you know god and a few friends and <laughs> angels really angels but it's not a pleasant place to be can you do it absolutely you can do it you can bounce back Maybe you're not going to bounce, you're going to climb. Maybe you're not going to climb, you're going to crawl, but you will come back. But don't give your power to no, nobody. Don't let it take it either. Fight for it. Well, when you deal with cults, you don't even know what's happening. Mm, I'm saying things that make you wonder. Well, I think that's good. I think that's good because I feel like in the current things from the past that maybe you've been confused and you enjoyed doing, maybe someone is making you question the things that you love and you love to do and you in the current mentally wise is not necessarily the best place to be. Maybe you're finding it hard, hard to follow your heart. But this is not the best place to be. This is really not the best place to be because I see major confusion. And if you gave your power to somebody, this is not a good one. I feel this is not a good one. Don't give your power to no freaking body. It's just confusion. And it will take you some time to find the clarity. And I also feel like someone wants to keep you confused. The heck? All right, Cappy, I'm getting this vibe for you. I don't like it at all, but I'm getting it and I got it. And I said, this, this is not a good vibe and I feel like it's not a good vibe and I'm getting confirmation. Someone is manipulating you into whatever they want to get from you. I do see someone not being your best friend right now. I do see someone, you know, trying to manipulate you. 
you're being defeated in ways that maybe you don't understand right now maybe you're being gaslighted and that's why you have so many questions maybe you know you're being um you're getting you know seeds of confusion planted maybe someone's planting seeds of doubt seeds of uncertainty seeds of you know please for the love of god stay away from this i'm not saying this is black magic but i'm saying this is major manipulation this is someone who knows how to manipulate very well you're my rule after dealing with whatever i dealt if i have doubts if i have questions if it's a matter of uncertainty and confusion i'm not curious and i just met someone a few weeks ago they had a cross on their forehead tattooed and they made their way towards me and engaged in conversation with me and they use manipulation tactics I wasn't aware of, but I wasn't curious. That's why I said, I'm not curious. I'm not interested. And then when they find out uh, in conversation, because they took information from me that I used to be a social worker, they tried to use that against me. Like, I can tell you what happened uh, to me in my life about the crossing and, you know, tattooed on my forehead. And I said, I don't care. I don't know you. And I left. Don't give this power to freaking nobody like you don't have to care for everybody really because some people will suck that altruism out of you some people will take your goodwill for granted and they will abuse it they will extort it Yes, my friend, if you don't meet me in the future, then this is you deciding to, you know, put up a fight or maybe someone will put up on a fight with you or for you. It's interesting because the Queen of Wands in traditional tarot has this rival energy, but I do feel it here like it's not a rival. This is not someone that is against you. This is someone that will fight with you for you to actually get to happiness. This is someone that is there to sit by your side and fight with you queen of wands unless you have to fight with someone in order to get your happiness back but i do see in the future this struggle and challenge to maintain or even take to the next level yourself take care of yourself or if you have somebody like the Queen of Wands that would sit by your side and fight next to you, you better take care of this person later. Yes, my friend. Yes, my friend. Yes, because in the near future, you will feel, you know, uh sorry i see like you will feel sorry for things that happened and you will go back you will go back but someone there is a necessary argument or a necessary fight to go on in order for harmony to be established and if look i said like if you get a queen of wands by your side hold into it because it will help you to get back or whatever i said look it's you it's queen of pentacles back it's not the best message it's not the best you know energy you have you're gonna feel regret you're gonna feel sorry for maybe things that happened in the past and where you've gone and the decisions you made but this is good this is overall good there will be someone that will put you up there will be someone that will help you go back on your path this is beautiful this is beautiful don't be afraid to go back don't be afraid to go back absolutely absolutely even if in the past you moved somewhere else and then you know uh, there were so many expectations and things didn't went as you wished and you're like oh my god what the fuck is this i need to go back go back it's okay to go back don't stay in places where it's like the devil fucking energy with the magician
go back look the world again six of wands four of pentacles in the world yeah go back it's okay to go back it's okay to freaking go back it's an important choice that you have to make but go back start to plan to go back it's not easy to move countries moving countries doesn't well <laughs> i move countries in four days <laughs> but um if you want to do it more properly and you know, depending on the responsibilities you have, it can take a few months to a few years to plan a relocation and, you know, get things done. But go back. Three of Wands, Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. For some of you, there is someone waiting for you as well. So go back. It's okay. Divine timing. Wow. You're the first one. You're the first one who gets that. Truth. Divine timing. Growth. Maybe the numbers mean something too. And transformation. You're the only one who didn't get that. So. Happy, my friend. This is what I have for you. Please keep in mind, my readings are for a phase, not for a week. These are processes that happen in longer time. So if you would have a private reading with me, I would not receive you earlier than three months. So, you know. All right. This is what I have. Please go check out uh, englishsmartlearning-kss.com and check out my website. Give some feedback. I'm doing the website by myself, learning everything, getting geeky here more and more. But in the meantime, it was a pleasure and I'll see you next time. Bye.